Uh, when I first got to Galois, I wasn't sure if people were serious or if they were just going to jump out and say, gotcha, later on, but it turns out they were serious. Pretty much everything at Galois is transparent and open. Uh, that just gives the whole place an air of there really aren't any secrets. When we want to know, am I being paid fairly, for example, I can always go and I can check who else is being paid like I'm being paid, and what are the standards at which that decision was made. The, the sense of trust is, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's almost hard to, it's almost hard to discuss. I, I suspect that if I were in a different workplace, I would be pretty confused by the way things happen. We operate as a community first and as a business second. We own the company now, so the company's not telling us where to go, we're telling the company where to go. We're setting the research direction, we're choosing what we propose to. We're making sure that the work that we're doing is of interest to everybody currently working here. A lot of our projects are very much about exploring an idea and seeing what's possible. Galois is a research services company. It works with clients to figure out where are the hard problems in an area. The client has a high level goal, like they want something to be safer, they want a policy improvement, they want to check some code, but they don't necessarily know how to do it. And Galois will take that on, figure out how to work on that problem, and give it back. I view Galois as an intersection between industry and academic research. We're sort of in the middle, where we sort of want to look at what are the problems that haven't quite made it to the industry yet? How do we apply some of those early ideas to get us there? Actually prove out those ideas that have been in academic papers and show them in the real world. We are not hyper-specialized on anything. The only thing we are focused on are trustworthy systems, and that's pretty broad. I would say that being able to choose your own projects and that, it, it really helps you make your own mark. Like someone didn't just tell you to go work on this project. It tends to be a kid in a candy store situation for many of us who find just about any topic interesting. A lot of people describe Gawa as collegiate, and I think that's fair. It kind of feels like a really big research group. Everything, fundamentally, is a conversation at Gawa. We definitely don't have a very hierarchical structure. And so what that means is that people tend to work together very collaboratively. We don't have direct bosses. We have different people who we're accountable to for different aspects of our jobs here, but there's no one person who's our boss. There's certainly a, a lot of potential for freedom in terms of figuring out how you're going to be tackling a problem, how you're going to structure your project. A lot of it's being authentic to just who we are as people, what we're interested in, and really just being open to learning new things. It's basically all been learning. A lot of us have PhDs in really specific topics. You're going to be learning from one of the best people in the world to learn that sort of stuff from, which is just, uh, there's no better teachers, I guess, than, than someone that's got that depth of knowledge. You know, I've had this experience more than once that I kind of say, oh, hey, you know, I'm pretty interested in this area. And someone sort of says, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I wrote my thesis on that. And that's kind of really thrilling. The, the thing that tends to unite Galwegians, in my view, is uh, a deep curiosity. You know, every day I'm out in the break room getting coffee and talking to somebody who's working on a different project than me and always asking the questions of why and how does that work. Everybody, I think, at Galwa is at Galwa kind of because we like working here for more reasons than just pay, I guess, and a lot of that um, comes down to feeling good about the work that we're doing. I enjoy science fiction, and I enjoy like the idealistic side of science fiction as well, all these cool things we could do. But it's a little terrifying as well. And so the applications of our work, to my mind, are into those places. Right? I want to see our work used to make some of the potentially cool things for the future actually wonderful and safe and great.